I've been visiting with Whitey about the artistic state of the Rangers for some time, and uh, we had a long discussion last uh, Saturday or Sunday, and I've concluded uh, over the weekend in the last two or three days that I would ask him for his resignation. And I did ask him, uh, or in effect tell him that he would not manage the Rangers any longer. I think in asking for his resignation today that I've had to admit that I made a mistake a year ago when I asked him to manage. Now, uh, I think this, I think that he is <clears throat> I value his friendship, I am honoring his contract, and I am unhappy that I have had to take this course of action, but as the greatest president that I've known said, if you can't stand the heat, you might as well get out of the kitchen, and since I haven't been able to find the door, uh, I've come to the conclusion this evening that uh, the action that I'm taking is the best one that I can take. I kind of figured last Saturday it was coming and uh, realized uh, Monday in Chicago I didn't I didn't manage that ball game too well and there was a lot of things on my mind. Joe leaving and our conversation with Bob on Saturday and uh, kind of figured it was uh, it was coming. In fact, today when I called, I, I told uh, Hiller I said I'm probably going to get fired. That's all I had to say. I've enjoyed it here, and uh, I can't knock my players. I think my players have hustled. Uh, I think everybody's tried. Uh, when you're 35 games out of first place, uh, you're going to get fired, you're going to get criticized, and the players really don't have any incentive anymore, I mean, when it gets that far. I don't think anybody here that's covered our ball club is going to say that my players haven't hustled all year up till maybe the last week or so.